tonsilla, mononuclear cells are more relevant and complex than blood cells, and their isolation allows the study of immune cell response in pathologies involving mucosal immunity. The technique we have established allows the recovery of a large number of immune cells from a mucosal tissue while keeping their integrity for ex vivo studies. The method is quite straightforward but the tonsils need to be handled rapidly and with care in order to maximize the yield. Transport the human tonsillar tissue to the laboratory as described in the manuscript text. Next, place a cell strainer onto a 150 by 25 millimeter culture dish. Place all the dissection instruments in another dish to keep them sterile. All human specimens should be handled with care, as they have not been previously qualified and may contain infectious agents. Then, pour the PBS from the vial into a strainer because it will contain some cells that have egressed the tonsils. Using sterile forceps, transfer the tonsils from the vial into the culture dish using sterile forceps. If necessary, add more PBS to immerse the grid. The dissection will take about 45 minutes per tonsil. It is crucial that during this time, the tonsils are submerged to ensure good viability and cell yields. Remove cauterized, bloody, and fibroid tissue using forceps and a scalpel. Using the scalpel and the curved tweezers, cut the tissue into small pieces of less than half a centimeter in diameter. Cut all the tissue so that the small pieces can be immersed at all times.